Hi, my name is Stephen Guti. I'm a re-recording mixer and sound editor, and I'm one of the owners of Yellow Cab Studios. We're based in Paris, and we started the company in 1998. Um, I started the company with Eric Le Sachet, who's my business partner, and when we started out, we only had one small room, that we still have, Studio B, for mixing documentaries and corporate movies. We then evolved in 2004 with this studio, Studio A, which is a film mixing room. It's a smaller size film mixing room, but uh, one that works very well, where we mix 5.1 and 7.1 films. And in 2013, we evolved again, and we decided to open a new facility in the outskirts of Paris in Aubervilliers, where we now have a very big Foley studio, which is probably one of the biggest Foley studios in Paris or in France. And we also have a TV mixing room and four sound editing rooms. In our recent references, we have a Foley recording for Arrival, the Denis Villeneuve science fiction movie starring Amy Adams and Jeremy Renner. Uh, we also worked on an independent movie called Love and Friendship, directed by Whit Stillman, which did very, very well in the US. I think it's one of uh, the best successes for independent movies in the US in 2016. Uh, other projects we've worked on uh, that may be known abroad are The Tall Man, a Pascal Roger film with Jessica Biel. And we also worked on The Love Punch, uh, a film with Emma Thompson and Pierce Brosnan. Uh, for which we did the complete audio posts, both for Tall Man and uh, for Love Punch. And we did other films, namely Populaire, Radio Stars, some things that may be known only in France or some that may be known abroad. <laughs> uh, we've been using Nuendo since 2004. Um, we need to replace our aging MFX3 Pluses, which were Fairlight machines. Uh, we were very happy with the Fairlight machines, but at, at the time 24 tracks was starting to be a real limitation and there were lots of things that we couldn't do in terms of processing, sound design and stuff like that. So we decided to try out Nuendo and, well, it caught on. So from one rig uh, at the time which we used for mixing, which was very easy because we could put two MADI cards in on our mixing desk, had MADI inputs, it was very simple to create a very efficient Nuendo system. Uh, relatively cheaply compared to other systems. So we started with that and I think now we have maybe 14 Nuendo rigs uh, in our various studios and sound editing rooms. For us, Nuendo offers an integrated solution uh, for lots of our workflow issues. Um, People often focus on mixing, of course mixing is important, but it always starts with a good sound edit. If you can't do a good sound edit, it doesn't work. So you need to actually have a system which offers lots of flexibility in terms of track count, maybe, in terms of track formats, in terms of uh, processing. I know that one thing that we're very happy with is the offline processing history. Uh, for example, when you're editing dialogue and you need to remove some sounds, you need to remove some, maybe some noise, and if you're doing that in another system, you will have to shadow the tracks, you'll have to copy the, the clips to another track in case you did some, you went overboard, in case you did too much processing. When in Nuendo, you can just open the offline process history and say, okay, this noise reduction was a bit too much, I'll take that out, or maybe I'll just tweak it a bit, and you, you actually have it inside the clip. You don't need to copy the clip and have to redo everything every time. Um, Obviously today uh, we're always chasing the next, the last picture cut. Uh, so uh, you have directors and editors who really, until the last moment, are working on the cut of their film because they want it to be the best movie they can have. Uh, and we have to follow all these cuts. We try to, to do as, as little reconforms as possible because it's always a very difficult process in terms of uh, actually recreating what you've been working on for one scene once it's recut doesn't necessarily work so there's lots of, of, of tweaking to be done and one of the big things that gets it done quicker is reconform so in Nuendo we can just use EDLs that come from the picture editing system and we can quite easily reconform our project and then tweak it and we have a few tips for example that sometimes we create parts in the audio so we can actually just unroll if there's if there's a gap in the new uh, edit we can just unroll and see what was happening in our previous edit so lots of things that make it quite easy to follow the cut and to follow you know uh, what the director is doing it makes you know it saves time 
My impression of Nuendo 8 is uh, I feel the whole software is evolving really towards where we want to go in post-production. For example, there's uh, the offline processing window. Uh, it's something that, that mixes something that we already had that's getting better and something that we've been asking for for a long time, which is actually to be able to have uh, offline processes available to us directly on the desktop. So I feel it's the best of two worlds and we can actually get things done faster. Uh, it streamlines the process, for example, when you're doing dialogue editing, you can always have your D-clicker available, things like that. Simple, small things, but that make it really, really powerful every day.